urine is full of nutrients, and so uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. A lot of people were using urine uh, as a fertilizer before we have access to chemical fertilizers. In France, we have already using urine one century ago, but it's uh, a problem of uh, economic model. Five years ago, I met uh, Mathieu, who is a toilet rental company owner for events like music festival. So you have a lot of people just uh, who pee on a music festival. And so he collects a lot of urine every year. He had to pay to drop the urine on wastewater treatment plant. So I, I was thinking that it's, it's like a big waste. And I knew that that was potentially a good fertilizer, but also a very good growing medium for bacteria. We try with uh, Mathieu to to make some fermentation uh, with urine and with some bacteria. Uh, so my bottle, some urine, some sugar, a probiotic, shake, and two days after, uh, that was bubbling. Uh, when I opened the bottle, that was So that was growing inside the urine. That was a basic idea, to use urine as a growth medium to grow bacteria. The unique solution we provide is to upcycle urine, but not as a direct fertilizer. But our solution, urine fermentation, allows farmers to replace half of its chemical fertilizers and it keeps the same yield. My main role is to make the dream come true. To do that, uh, we need a right team, because uh, this dream is a huge one. There is urine collection, urine upcycling, and urine distribution. And for the urine collection, we have already settled a strong partnership with the European local toilet rental companies to collect urine in music festival. And we are developing a web of urine collection in gas station. We install tank of a, a huge tank to collect the human urine through men and women urinals and then we transport it to our local fermentation plant. In the local fermentation plant, we have our genius ID and patented process. And our aim is to have local uh, fermentation plants to collect urine locally and to uh, distribute some uh, highly concentrated biostimulants to farmers around the plant because they meet some uh, shortage in fertilizers, high prices in fertilizer, uh, volatility of prices and dependence on import. Uh, with local plants uh, and uh, stable prices, we solve this kind of problem. Our process is very similar to the fermented food, like beer, wine, uh, kombucha. It's really the same, only we use urine instead of uh, grapes. Urine in its composition, it's 95% water and 5% nutrients. Microorganisms, in order to grow and thrive, they need the nutrients like carbon, nitrogen or phosphorus. And these are the nutrients that we can find also in urine. So that's what makes it a perfect culture media. Urine, as we collect, can contain uh, pharmaceuticals or also undesirable microorganisms. In order to ensure that we don't have any undesirable uh, microorganisms that can be pathogenic, is to filter the urine using uh, very tiny filters. Actually, we conducted a, a study. We analyzed the identity and quantity of these uh, molecules before and after each step. So there's the collection and acidification step, filtration step, and then the fermentation step. So what we found is that after each step, we can reduce their quantity by between 40 or 90%. If you take a lettuce that was um, fertilized with a urine-based fertilizer, a person must eat like a billion lettuce in one year in order to have the equivalent of one ibuprofen pill. So it's, uh, it's practically impossible. The safety for the, the end consumer is, uh, is really guaranteed. An ideal world would be that everyone can eat uh, without uh, struggling for that. 
because it's a question of uh, affordable food. Well, a world who we, we don't use uh, clean water to drop urine and fecal material. A circular world. To pee, who means uh, faire pipi in French, so uh, to pee. And um, because to pee in French, it's uh, a, a top. A top. <laughs> it's a top because it's a circular economy model. So it's just that. It's very exciting, but also very challenging. And I have a lot of fears about that because when you when you have an idea like that, uh, you really want it to be uh, applicated everywhere in the world. It's like like a huge responsibility. You yes. know, you have a great idea. You know it can it can it can change many things, but it's a systemic one, and um, um, it would be like you have the solution and we can do that. No, no, no. It's, we can't imagine that. I think we can do that. We have the good ideas, the good team. Uh, everything is on the road. It's a systemic change with possible and realistic and not costly. You don't have to, to punish anyone uh, because we have to be greener. It's easy to uh, pee on a waterless urinal. It's easy to use. It's um, not costly for the farmer. So you don't have any loser on this, on, with this system. So uh, that's also why uh, we feel so responsible because we have that and we can't. <laughs> just uh, lose.